So one of the reader has asked this question and the question is on the screen. What Ramesh is asking over here is that uh, does QCI1 and QCI5, do they get attached to the network uh, simultaneously or do they get attached separately? So I am assuming from the question that the gentleman is familiar with the attach procedure and the setting up of the EPS bearer. So in order to answer the question, um, QCI5 and QCI1 attach do not happen together. In simple, QCI1 will only be set up whenever there is a voice call needs to be established. What do I mean by this? So I have drawn this diagram. I am not going to explain how the EPS bearer attach works, but just to answer the question being asked by Ramesh is, that uh, QCI1 and QCI5 will not be established simultaneously unless there is a voice call need to be going on. When you power on your phone and the, assuming the network is VoLTE enabled and the user or the UE equipment is also VoLTE enabled, what will happen is default TPS bearer will be established first. Usually the default TPS bearer is QCI9 and after that uh, the other IMS signaling EPS bearer will be established which is QCI5. Once this is established, this only is responsible for carrying IMS signal. If a user wants to dial a phone call or dial a number or anything like this, then this QCI5 bearer will be used to carry IMS signaling via PGW towards the IMS. And then as a result of the signaling, this QCI1 bearer will be established. So once QCI five will carry IMS signaling, then QCI one bearer will be established and this QCI one bearer will be used to carry voice traffic. So this will be actually used for your voice traffic or any kind of traffic which is being carried by the, sent by the IMS network. In this case, we are talking about voice. So let's just write it over here, voice data. Now, having said that, let's say you are on a voice call for the next five minutes. So for the next five minutes, this QCI1 bearer will remain established. After five minutes, you hang up the call. QCI1 bearer then will be taken down. So meaning it will be then removed. So let me remove it over here once the voice call is done. And then again, after its remover, what will remain? QCI5 and default EPS bearer for IP connectivity and internet connectivity will remain there. So to answer the question from this explanation, QCI1 and QCI5, if you're continuously on a voice call, will remain established as long as you are requesting voice traffic, voice data at the same time. When you are not, once you are not requesting any kind of voice services, voice data, then QCI1 will be taken down, but QCI5 will remain there because that acts as a default IMS signaling bearer. It will be carrying any kind of IMS signaling in order to set up QCI1 bearer, in order to take down QCI1 bearer, so on and so forth. So that's the answer to that question. Thank you. And thank you for the question, Ramesh.